Hey guys, Peace for here, and today I want to show off a mod that I've been working on for a while, which is called the Universal Keyboard Support Mod. And what this mod allows you to do is play with multiple keyboards without it interfering with the other player's keyboards. Because as you know, you can't really play with two keyboards. I mean, you can, but um, it's really hard to like work around your opponent's keyboard, and it can be just annoying to do. So I plan to eliminate this with this mod. And it's still early in development, but it works pretty decently. So to be able to use this mod, you're going to need at least administrator's right on the computer you're installing on. You're going to need the interception drivers, which I'm going to show you how to install after I'm done with this list. You're going to need Adobe Air, which you should have if you use Super Smash Flash 2 desktop version. You're going to need enough space, obviously, and you're going to need two keyboards. Um, when I say two keyboards, it could just be like any two keyboards, like a laptop keyboard and another external keyboard. And you're going to need at least Windows 7 or higher. Um, okay, so let me show you how to set everything up. Okay, so I'm going to take you through the process of installing the mod. So, down in the description, there should be a link to get to the download folder of the mod. And it should look something like this. And it should have the current version. I try doing my best at keeping up with like the updates and patches. But yeah, it should have the current version. You click into it, you're going to have two folders. An exe and an unzipped. Um, it doesn't matter which one you pick. I just did it there for you can like have personal preferences. Because I know some people like exe and some people like to unzip. But I'm just going to go with the unzipped one. It doesn't really matter which one you pick. And I'm just going to go here and click download. Download as standard download. And then yeah, I'll wait for it to download. And I'll get back to you once it finishes. So once the download finishes, you're going to have to navigate into the Super Smash Flash 2 folder that it created. I put mine on the desktop for the sake of this video. You're going to open it. And you should see files similar to this. And before we can start playing Super Smash Flash 2 with multiple keyboard, we first have to install the interception driver. And what the interception driver is, is it's basically the foundation of the mod and it's what allows us to play with multiple keyboards. Um, what it basically does is it kind of like intercepts your keyboard. And I won't really get into like the nitty gritty and like how it works. I will link this in the description below and you can like read about it more and like how everything works. But yeah, you're going to need the interception, um, interception library and you're going to need to install it. And installing can be a little bit difficult. So I provided two ways on how to install it. The um, interception drivers comes packaged here into the interception driver folder, so you don't need to download it from there. Um, and the first way you can install it is manually. I provided a PDF so that you can download it manually, and it's about like six steps. Or you can do it the faster way, which I provided over here. And I made an automated script that basically installs everything for you. So what you're going to need to do is come here and then unzip it um, over here, extract all. And if you don't have WinRAR, it's fine. You can just um, extract it with the windows. I'm not sure why it's not like allowing you to click extract all, but uh, it should be somewhere here. I don't know, but you would just extract it with like the Windows version. And once you extract it, once you unzip it here, you're going to need to um, click Run. And this is very important that you follow this. You're going to need to click here, right click, and click Run as Administrator. And then, yeah, if you get successful, interception installed successfully you basically did all the hard work and you're gonna have to reboot your computer 
Oh yeah. Sometimes when I was like installing the bat to test, sometimes it like says, um, are you sure you want to like install this? And you can just click run anyways. And if you don't like feel safe doing it, um, you can just install it manually as I said before. But yeah, I just provided an automated way to make installing faster. So I'm gonna go reboot my computer and I can showcase the mod after. Click here and restart. Okay, so I just reset my computer and there's one thing I forgot to go over before, but if you ever need to uninstall interception, the interception drivers for some reason, you can just click here, click the PDF, scroll down, and you should see a uninstalling section. And just follow these steps and you should be able to uninstall it. And if you ever have like any problems installing, just come here, go to the Discord, and then post in the problems or troubleshooting slash bugs chat and I'll be there to help you install. Also if you like run across like any bugs or like problems with the program just let me know in here. Also try to like see if you can like recreate the problems and that will give me like an easier time fixing it rather than just stating the problem. So yeah you can just come here and click help me with installing it and then you can just like list your problem blah, 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 blah. And if you have like any other suggestions you can just tell me in general and i do my best to like respond to you and then yeah so enough blabbering around and just talking let me just get into the program so let me click this here click this and then wait for super smash flash to load Oh cool, <laughs> alternate music tracks. I do like me some music. But as you can see so far, it's basically just regular Super Smash Flash 2. Nothing really added here. As you can see, there's no two keyboards here. So to be able to get your keyboard detected, what you need to do is click something on your keyboard so that the intercept driver can detect it. So let me click something on my external keyboard here. And you can see keyboard zero has been detected. And let me type something on a laptop keyboard. Keyboard one has been detected. So keyboard one is my laptop keyboard and then keyboard zero is my um, external keyboard. So if we come down to controllers, you can now see that keyboard zero and then keyboard one have been added to the list. So let me assign keyboard zero to um, player one and then keyboard keyboard one to player two it's a tongue twister right there and as you can see a cool thing that i've added is that you can now use the same controls right and you can see it's the exact same as player one so you don't have to now like use like weird hand controls like you don't have to like set up your um controls differently so they don't interfere with each, each other. You can now just use the same control. And then something to note is if you wanna um if you wanna change your controls, right? Um you have to first go to keyboard here, then come here, then change them. I know it's it's a weird thing I'm working on it. It should be fixed like soon, but yeah. To um change your controls make sure you go to keyboard first and then I'm here to change it. Then yeah, you can go back to keyboard one and it should be saved. Or you can just change your keyboard reset Super Smash Splash 2, that works too. Uh yeah. Let me change this to jump. Two. And you can see don't have the shield button. Let me change these. Gravis A, shield S, special F, dash here. And then, yeah, change it back to keyword one, and I should be fine. Let me go back. And as you can see, it moves by itself on keyword one. It's not interfering with keyword two's 
um, select hand. So let me come here, click here, and attack button, and put it on Isaac. Can you let go, please? Please hold up. Did I? Can change it back to the more. Is that shit? Yeah, that's it. Can you please? There we go. I'm not sure why I didn't let me let go for a sec. So, um, let me change size of colors, and you can see it navigates by itself. Um, it's not interfering with keyword twos. And let me get keyword twos working here. See, you can do it differently. Um, let me go to link, um, change the color with the space bar, and let's go to Tower of Heaven. And let me turn off stage chat just because I don't want to deal with that. So let's play. And you can see that once again, the keyboards do not interfere with user other. If you're super smooth, everything is good. I'm going to play with keyboard twos. Everything is good. It's just fine. You can also, once again, go to the Discord and tell me if you feel it's good. And if everything like feels like... There's no like input delays, no drops, anything like that. And let me play with at the same time. I'm not really good, but yeah, you can see... <laughs> Oops. But you can see like I can play at the same time, right? They can go at the same time. Inputs don't really interfere with each other. Yeah, you can play with your friends like this. So yeah, that's basically the mod. You, sh you can play it up to like four players too. It doesn't have to be two keyboards. But I've only really tested it with um, two keyboards, so you can also tell me how that feels. This should be able to work on my mouse, so, so let me just exit out. Yeah, it's basically just vanilla Super Smash Splash 2, but with um, double keywords. So let me log in here. Um, let me create a room. 1v1. Yes, don't I? Hopefully I can get a match where I can show you. <laughs> Hopefully I don't get bodied. <laughs> but yeah, it works online. Let's see. Yeah, you can um, you can play. I forgot to set my smash attack. Ah, oh, unfortunate. It's not gonna work. But yeah, if you like enjoy my mod, just let me know. Leave a like, join my Discord. And yeah, I will see you later. When the next patch happens. Yep. Oh, oh, nine code. I can make, I can't save you from that. So, yeah, thanks for watching this mod showcase slash install video. I hope to make more stuff like this in the future. And bye.